Yes, Merry Christmas to all you guys who celebrate the Christmas seasons, seasons greetings, and yeah, end of year celebration to all those who don't celebrate it, but yeah, here we go, all of us come here, we're from 209 different countries who watch this channel, and what we all have in common for sure and certain is these toys that we love so much, so yeah, here I have a figure. Um, it's bigger than a Lego figure, so we got the little swivel underneath there. It's a special type of Lego. It's not just like any Lego. It's like a, it's a little, it's a bigger, little bit bigger than the usual Lego, I should say. So it's still Lego, but it's just a little bit bigger than usually what they are. It's clearly my Lego down in there. We can see that. Basic toy, you can see the pins there that made the, the joints bend back. Hopefully, the video stays still. Thought I'd do one of these videos um, where I show small toys that I like. It got um, great motion as well. It sits fine like that. I keep it on top of my table. It looks pretty cool sat down there. But the cool thing about it, you can move around his head. I like that movement so much. You can twist them around, do all sorts. Because his head can move all over. I don't know what kind of joint that make that movement, but it can move to every angle, like every angle. You can just move it like how you'd move a like a character in a controller, like so up is really, really up. Look at that. It's fantastic. I don't really know what this piece is based off. Um I love toys, so I source toys from different ways and means. But basically, I'm someone who um, I like toys a lot, collect them, um, especially small toys. They're amazing. Why? Because they don't take up as much space. Big toys are amazing. Why? Because maybe you just need one or two pieces um, to create like a nice little display or something that you could just really appreciate looking at sometimes. This uh, reminds me of kind of Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> For some reason, I wanted to um, try and paint it over, make it look like Rocket Raccoon. Add some bugs and stuff like that. Getting loads of inspiration from 1987 Olds channel where I might do some customization. And yeah, you can keep up the good work. That's good. Seeing all of that customization and toys and stuff. When I have time, I'll do something of my own. I've already begun, and which I will share on the channel. And yeah, of course, Craftsman, I like him as well. Because guess what? These people, um, these kind of artists, they um, like tiny details, small little things. And I do like small little things. And I was talking about having small ties is um, wonderful because you can have a load of them. Look, this one is not so tall. But this, this thing, I'm not an expert like some people and toys. I love, I love them. Um, do I care how they work? Maybe eventually, but like, I just, I just like that the head can move in any way. Subscribe now. Don't be an unsubscriber. And yeah, I learned one fun thing. Most people watch my channel aren't subscribed. I'm very thankful for um, whoever watches whatever I choose to do because I won't keep it boring and I won't just always show what um, get a million views. I want to show really interesting things and keep my channel really interesting. And this conversation is for those who are already subscribed and like what I'm doing. So, yeah, but pretty amazing, ain't it? It just moves anyway. Anyway, looks down. But the up is all the way up. Look at that. This just looks so cool. And you got that googly eyes painting. So I think I might just use a little reference and then paint down um, Rocket Raccoon around this. Just put some things on him. Some more details and things. Or maybe stick it on or something. I don't know what I'll do with it yet. But yeah, guys, please do like, share, and subscribe, of course. Yeah. And you can see more of this stuff. Um, this is another small tie that I have in my collection. They are really, really cool. 
yeah, if you're grown, you don't have time. You have to do your normal day-to-day -day job and stuff like that. You need like little ones like this that you can really just flick around. Um, like say fidget, fidget, kind of like a fidget toy. Wiggle it around. You can move the legs. It's pretty good. Don't think he can't look to the side. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what are you looking at? I'm a cute toy or what? Of course I am. Yeah, very, very, very cute. But if I customize that and turn him into rocket, the raccoon, ooh, it will be something that's more familiar to all of us. So I might do that. And if anybody cares to tell me who this is, because I like the toy, I don't even have to know what franchise is or none of that. I'm the console master and I'm the lover of all toys. And that's me right there. Yeah. And this... This also remind me of the college dropout beer in a weird way. This is like this is the brown and the eyes and all of that. The simplicity of it is kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So, yeah, arms up, basic Lego movements. Really good. Really good little toy. Should we bring in another small little toy so you guys can? Enjoy another toy before I wrap this video up showing you my incredibly small toy and Very very cute toy and I hope I don't mess the paint job up when I do try to make it look like rocket And more to come. There's always more to come on my channel. I'm always doing something uh, I'm always doing something Yes guys, I got the toy itch. Yeah, I do it because I really actually love it and I'll keep doing it. And you guys know that I love it. Because look at all my videos. Some have zero likes. Some have 300,000 likes. And I still continue. Because I love it. I love sharing what I've discovered. And I love sharing what I've learned about toys along the way. Look at that. I love when you look up. That's like Rocket that's looking up at his spaceship. Like, hey, Guardians. I need your help. Groot. Come on. Gee. Yeah, so all of that I love. That toys is cool. Give me a time to just sit and think. No, I meant to travel to some of my family's house, but it's like really stormy. And the story is a little bit like crazy. So I'm still at home sat down. Just my day. I meant to travel, but it's a storm where we are right now. So to all my people around the world, Happy New Year. Wish you a Happy New Year. And we're going to have a more productive new year all of us around the world and yeah enjoy your toys enjoy playing with them and yeah look after each other and remember to like share and subscribe this is such a lovely fidgeted toy well painted i love the red pegs it's like yep i'm a peg <laughs> but it's also add to the design with it. so now we got red yellow blue elements Really good. Anthropomorphic. <laughs> I don't know. He got two legs. And it's an animal person, I guess. Or I reckon you could just pop the head off and then uh, get another head on it. But I think this actually come like that because it's kind of like fixed in a bit. I don't want to force it off. I like it so much. I don't want to break anything. But yeah. Here you go, guys. Really, really, really cute toy. Perfect for this time of year. Perfect for all my subscribers who just like to hear my voice and hear me talking about toys that all of us really, really love. So anyone care to tell me who this character is? I'd like to know. I will not Google lens it. I would like someone to tell me. And yeah, leave a like, share, do all of that stuff. I, I don't really like asking about that stuff, but I must urge you sometimes to like, share and comment on the things that you like to see. So more can be made.